Hi, Stephanie here. Welcome back to StoryCon Shares. I'm so excited that you have joined me today. I am going to be talking about mistakes that writers make when pitching. But first, I'm going to ask you to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every week when I post a new video. Let's get started. The first mistake that I see people making when pitching is not knowing what their story is about. So they can't sum it up in one or two sentences, and when they do a pitch, especially in person, they use a lot of um, and, and it just goes on forever. So make sure that you know what your story is about. The next mistake that I see writers making is to pitch like they are a little kid. And what I mean by that, especially pitching in person, it's kind of like, um, well, the story is about this guy, and like he meets this girl, and like, so they were wearing a red dress, or she was wearing a red dress, and and they went to a date and and it just becomes so boring and monotonous you don't need to do that I understand that pitching is very hard Do you like to pitch or do you have struggle pitching please post in the comments what your struggles are or if you do like to pitch what your successes have been so we can all start talking about it the next mistake that I really see people doing when pitching is that they don't rehearse or practice at all and they think that they can wing it and honestly you really cannot wing your pitch you really have to know what you're saying because you are selling your book so you need to choose your words wisely and you need to think about it the next mistake that I see writers making when they are doing their pitch is having extremely popular comps I cannot tell you how many query letters I have read or how many writers I have talked to at children's book conferences writing conferences that aren't specifically for children and even at writing retreats in Europe where people say that their book is Harry Potter meets something please do not ever use Harry Potter as a comp because you will never live up to that unfortunately it doesn't matter how good your book is the expectations are going to be way up here and so it's just not worth it so find a comp that is not Harry Potter but that is very similar to your book find one or two find two either books or movies or TV shows and use those but try to avoid the super super popular ones I know in the last couple of years every single person and their dog has a middle grade book that is stranger things meets something else and honestly nothing is living up to stranger things right now because it is so popular so please do not make that mistake that so many writers make I just want to say that remember when you are pitching your story you are selling it and if you love that story the way that I know that you do because you wrote it you really want to have your best foot forward when you're pitching it so please take the time and think about your pitches and perfect them whether they're short or long whether it's for your query letter or if you're entering a pitch competition just so you really understand how to do it I have put in the description some links to some amazing resources from agents and other writers and editors who have talked about pitching because I know that it can help you and I know that you can do it you've written the book the hard part is done now I just need you to learn how to pitch it so you can sell it and we can all read it have a great day and thank you for tuning in